Hello everyone, my name is Creative and welcome to my new YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your profile in Spatial.io. Alright guys, I am logged into Spatial.io and today we're going to be checking out Spatial's new profile feature. This is a new feature that they added today on uh, their website. They have completely re have revamped their website. The UX and the UI is so clean. I'm super excited to be using this platform uh, into 2022, 2023 and moving forward. Uh, the visuals uh, of this platform have gotten amazing. Uh, they've gotten some new tabs where you have the trending, what, what trending metaverses are happening, what are the most popular environments that are going around uh, inside Spatial, and which platforms or em environments are live, uh, what are the newest environments that just happened, and also as a, as a user, what are, what are the latest metaverses that you have attended so you can always go back, and of course, uh, your environments that you have created uh, before. But today's video is to talk about our profiles. And I think the profiles is such a great feature within Spatial because it allows people to uh, build relationships, connect, and you'll be able to connect with artists, artists, educators, um, and leaders in this space simply by, by using this feature. So let's dive in. First, you're gonna go ahead and log into spatial.io. And at the top right, you're gonna see your icon. And what you're gonna do is go ahead and select it and select profile. And right now you're gonna be inside your profile page. And the reason you can find out because you'll see your username here at the top. And what's nice is that you'll have your username that you can change. You can have uh, your handle, the number of spaces that you have, the number of people that are following your account and the number of people that you're following. Not only that, you also have the, feet, the, the ability to add your Twitter, your Instagram, your OpenSea and your website and a little bit of description about yourself. But the way that we do that, we actually just go into our page and select edit. Once you hit edit, we're gonna have a, a form for us to complete. Obviously, this will be our name um, for our profile, the username that people will see. So if you're a digital artist and you go by a certain name, make sure that you change that because when you're in a metaverse and you're an event and a curator, people are not gonna know who John Doe is, but they're more likely to know what your artist name is or your Web3 name. So make sure you guys keep that in mind. Add a little bit of description about who you are, what you do and what you provide. You can provide your Discord, uh, your Twitter, your Instagram, your OpenSea, your LinkedIn, your TikTok, and actually your personal site. And I highly suggest doing this, guys, because this is the way how people can find you. One of the things that we see inside the metaverse is that we're able to create relationships. But even after we create relationships, how do we connect with them? How do we follow them? How do we keep building with them? With this new feature, this is going to allow us to do it. So it's an amazing tool. All you have to do is hit save. And here at the bottom is going to show your recent spaces that you've got going on. Uh, one thing that I that, that I do see, I think this is probably my image that maybe kind of broke, so I apologize if this looks off. Um, some of the questions that we have is, um, how do I get uh, my space to populate here uh, at the bottom? And I'm gonna show you guys real quick how to do that. And uh, all you have to do is go into one of your environments. Actually, let's actually create an environment and let's actually publish it so you guys get to see it here. All I'm gonna do is hit create new space. I'm gonna go ahead and select a template that I want. Awesome. So our space has been created and a couple things for you guys to know. Uh, obviously you guys can go in here and, and upload uh, your artwork and um, you know, have curated. But one of the things I tell you guys is to change the title. So we're gonna do YouTube video. And also too, what we're gonna do for us to be able to see this gallery publicly for people to see on the explore tab, the trending tab, what we have to do, this is the number one question we get is actually head up to the top right where it says share and make sure that you select uh, publicly listed. This allows everybody uh, who has spatial to be actually be able to see and uh, display your metaverse or your environment on the explore tab with your profile. So the only thing you have to do is check that. All right, once that's done, you're gonna hit exit. And what we're gonna do is that we're just gonna go back to our, our profile. And what we're going to do is we're just gonna go see if it populated on our profile page. So we're just gonna give it just a moment as this loads in. Awesome, so we went from nine, now we have 10. And here we go. 
YouTube video. So you can see where the video has now populated. So as you guys are building, uh, make sure that you guys turn your environment to public so people are able to see. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to 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 reach out to me. Leave a leave a comment in in the box if you if you found this useful. Um, and at the bottom, share with me uh, some of your metaverse environments. And also, go ahead and give me a follow. Uh, love to see what you guys are building and see what you guys are creating. Uh, and if you guys did like this video, make sure you give it a, a like, uh, a thumbs up, and go ahead and subscribe to the video. Thank you, and have a good day.